I had a great experience doing it. I think it's really nice to be involved in such a large project. This time I never seen as much people out in the one go. Just admiring the work and painting it. It's just all fun. Biggest thing is get the kids involved because they take more pride in it because it's their project. The main thing is, right, is I want this line. Green. See the way that was messy there? We see the way it's all like needs colouring in. We brought three kids over from the last project, but ended up with over 10 kids in the end. This is an abandoned area that was left for years. That was just pride in knowing that they really wanted to do up this abandoned place. That was one of the reasons why we put organic elements in there. There was talk of doing a, like a community garden. More nature orientated elements were put in there deliberately for possible developments of that space. It really stands out to me because I'd be looking forward to people coming out and when we come back in here we'll see the wall and say oh we did that and it's just better. You do it in chalk first so if you, so if you go wrong you can take it off. So you want to choose a different colour than green, you want something that stands out, try like a pink or a purple. You really learn how important the colours you put in and how many colours. We had so many different colours and we had to remove a lot of them and just stay with what we had because if you have too many it's too busy and then it doesn't work. The kids did all these drawings themselves just from their own imagination in a style what we call doodle art where it's like a free association of thoughts. I really like the idea that the kids are just free to engage with these ideas. At the start I was just doodling in my sketchbook and now it's on a wall so I was literally just doodling. The brush isn't that way, it's this way. And you come round like so. And then if you want to just fill in the gaps, we'll water the paint down and go over it again once it's dry. This is much different and much better. And you're outside in the fresh air and you're doing something fun, social and creative. So I've learned much more here than I've learned at school ever. When you get up with a spray can and a stencil, you don't really get many opportunities to actually do that. I get to paint with a paintbrush every day if I want to, but I don't get to spray something on a wall. And that's, I think, the best part for me. The reason why we're doing it on a stencil like this is because it's easier to control where the paint is going, okay? So it kind of makes it more accessible. So it's like something everyone can do. The Rallows do what they like. They were able to just pick their colours and then at the end of it, pick out the little characters that represented them. Leah what had the idea of putting the handprints on instead of signing it. And we just instantly thought it was a, a great idea and another way to involve all the kids. It was fun, entertainment and I love painting. And they just so happy to run with the idea that there was something happening locally to play where they feel safe, where they're at home, where they can have a sense of community, civic pride, all those things that are so important to the human experience. I'd like to see more art and colourful things on the Tuller Road. Yeah.